everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really fantastic this morning and we're going to be looking at what is going on across the atlantic so we can see that there is some activity off the coast of africa and as we head to the vicinity of the caribbean there's still that southwesterly flow and there has been some additional thunderstorms in parts of hispaniola such as the dominican republic and southern haiti as well but the first tropical wave of the season is moving in we can see that cluster of rain and uh, thunderstorms within the vicinity of the eastern caribbean islands so let's zoom into the area here we can see uh, what is going on so again with these tropical waves this is what we see sometimes sometimes they also develop into tropical cyclones and i want to see what happens when that wave reaches the western caribbean later this week but for right now, it's definitely producing some substantial rain in parts of the Lesser Antilles. A couple showers in Barbados, uh, even offshore St. Vincent, and maybe a few spots in St. Lucia experiencing some showers as well. Northern Martinique, there should be some heavy rain around. Same thing for Dominica, especially in the north. And other areas such as Guadeloupe, parts of Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat likely experiencing some showers this morning. You can let me know exactly what's going on for your location uh right now but as we're going to be heading through today it should be pretty wet for most of the less rentalies the sea of grenada is going to get some additional rain because i know it's been so hot i've been seeing the comments from you guys down there hopefully as this moves in you guys receive some additional rainfall so that is possible for sure and further north to areas such as st kitts and nevis as well as Seba, st eustatia st bartholomew anguilla and saint martin there isn't much happening this morning but there could definitely be some showers today as we zoom a bit further to the west we can see that the western caribbean is pretty much in the clear nothing really happening right now it's a beautiful morning lovely sunshine perfect day to go to the beach but let's go on to the rainfall forecast for today so here we can see it and we're seeing these orange and red shadings around the vicinity of the eastern caribbean so as i said with that tropical wave moving in there is going to be uh more rainfall and there's already some heavy rain in some areas now with all the rain expected today there is that chance of flash flooding so please make a note of that if you're in the lesser antilles so that is a possibility for today there could be some heavy downpours uh and you know those thunderstorms that move by with those gusty winds as well but we're seeing that grenada and tobago are kind of excluded out of those very colorful shadings but there could still uh, be some showers around for trinidad there could be some downpours as well up to the virgin islands few showers possible same thing for puerto rico and hispaniola as well abc islands it should be on the drier side today then as we head up to the bahamas turks and caicos islands parts of florida few showers could be ling uh, lingering around same thing for cuba some spots in jamaica cayman islands remain on the hot side as i said perfect day to go to the beach and then look into central america for the yucatan uh, which include parts of mexico belize and northern guatemala much is not expected today at all but for the pacific side of central america it may be more active and then for northern south america colombia venezuela guyana Suriname, french guiana it remains active in the area thanks to the intertropical convergence zone this tropical wave is going to be arriving into the central going to the western caribbean as we head into later this week around the middle of the week going to the latter part of the week and as the wave propagates towards the west it should uh, eventually help to increase the rainfall chance across other areas parts of the north uh, other parts of the northeast caribbean and even jamaica as we head into later this week now of course models are hinting that we could see quite a substantial increase in rainfall activity over the course of the coming days so let's take a look at what a few of the models have to show this is euro and this is for uh next tuesday as we're going to be heading into the fourth of june look at all these green shadings so the green indicates the precipitation rate so we can see quite a bit of moisture increase in the caribbean as we're going to be heading into next week the end of this week going into next week and then as it relates to the gfs model this is for this coming saturday the first of june 
GFS is showing that we could see some development, you know, when this tropical wave, the current tropical wave makes its way to the Western Caribbean. ICON is not agreeing with that in the Caribbean, but it is showing an airflow pressure forming in the Eastern Pacific. And this is what happens a lot. These tropical waves, they move through the Atlantic Basin. They don't develop, but once they encounter favorable conditions in the Pacific, then they will try to get themselves together. So there we have ICON showing that little area of low pressure. But of course, guys, I'm here to keep you posted on what is happening. And for the short term, again, a lot of heavy rain in parts of the Lesser Antilles. And with that, there could be those instances of flooding. So please stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks. And of course, I'll continue to keep you posted on what is happening as time goes by. So that is it for right now. And I hope you found this update to be very informative. But if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.